It's my channel. My name is Ladi. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, you will watch this video. And if you like my content, then you can subscribe and turn on your post notifications. I will see because we're going to be best friends. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a simple graphic liner look. I'm going to be telling you guys about. Greek mythology. I'm going to try to explain it to you guys as much as I can. The first thing I'm going to do is my brows. I'm going to start with how this guy started the mythology thing. I'm going to start with how it started. Basically, yeah, there are three generations of gods. That's how you hear the primordials, titans, and Olympians. So, primordials are the first generation of god basically there are three primordial gods the primordial gods there are like five of them Erebus, there's tartarus there's gaia there's nyx and there's what's this guy's eros yeah okay so gaia is mother earth then tartarus is the first actual god of the underworld and nyx is the god of knights or goddess of knights i forgot to god of goddess rules over the nights. Eros was the god of love, love and procreation. So Gaia and she was one that started the whole family tree thing. On her own, on her own. She, she said, ah, okay, okay. I, I want, want children. children. She had Rhea, Uranus and Contos. Gaia now said, okay, I want more children. That you people are not enough. They're not enough for me. <laughs> so she now procreated with her child, with her son, Uranus. So like that, like that. Give it to two monsters. Give it to a cyclops. That's the monster with one eye in the middle. One eye. Not in the middle of one. One eye like this. Just eye. <laughs> then they give it to like, Hecaton Caris. Hey God. I almost beat my tongue again. Hecaton Caris. That is a monster that has 50 heads and a hundred arms, hands, arms, hands, anyone. And after those ones, they now gave it to, to the twelve titans, the actual, the second generation of God. So they gave birth to Oceanus, Tethys, Hyperion. If I can, I'll try. I'll put the 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 names of the gods and what they were gods over. I think that's the proper English. I'm going to use foundation now. I'm going to prime first. Sorry. Yes, I'm going to prime before. I use my foundation. I hope you are moisturized. I hope your skin is moisturized. I hope you are keeping the moisture in your skin. Foundation next. We've accomplished that there were 12 titan gods Uranus and Gaia. They gave birth to monsters. So they gave birth to the Hecaton Crescent and Uranus, they don't like that monster. He said, that's okay, ugly, I, I cannot have you as my child. Like me, like, like, like this, like, that's I'm in court. I'm now, I'm now Betty, Betty. Who, that? who that? No catch. He said, you that look like, like, how can I be your father? No, no, it's not me and you. And he wanted to banish. Gaya was not having it. She said, No, how can you banish my child? How can you want to do Do my, my child out? Like, like, are you going to give your sweets together? Who sends you to our bag? Is it not your genes that created the child? Why, why do you want to send my child away? Like, you, go ahead. It is this. We don't know what he said, but like, yeah. Like, she was so upset. She created a psych and she took it to the 12 Titans. And she was like, oh yeah, oh, and yeah, right, people, gather around, gather around. You people that he has accepted, oh, this is your father. I want you to kill him. Get some stories, is kill some stories, is chop off a uh, cash tree. Cash tree, yes, there's some stories, is cash tree. I was not asking all of them, but okay, which one of you will do it for me? Me, your sweet mother, which one of you will 
window. Okay, your papa. None of them will shine in me like, ah, me, I cannot do it to me, I cannot do it to me. Kronos, I'm a little bear. I'm a little bear. And me, I'll do it. Because she already promised them that whoever did this, like that person would be the king and queen or the gods, kineko, kineko. This guy said, okay, me, I'll do it. No, while and I trust me, mommy, trust me. And she gave him the sack. I'm con highlighting right now. Watch, 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 watch. He really started the war and he won actually, like he was stronger than him. So what happened was that as as Uranus was going on, like that, like you see, you that you that you did this. You did this. You did it. So Kronos, of course, that one lived in he lived in fear. He became the king of the gods now. But like they said his children would do it to him too and he didn't want to lose his seats as the king you know he was power drunk i guess freya is the goddess of fertility she was his wife so she was she was the queen of the gods i guess of the titan gods and they had five six children in total so whenever freya was pregnant then this guy would really say yeah we are all bring bring the children to me let me see this in there why would you? Who would you want to eat your child? What type of wickedness is that? Because you don't want them to overthrow you. The first child, the ex, second child, the ex, third child, the ex, fifth child. <laughs> ah, I cannot count. It was now time for them to give it to Zeus. You know, Rhea did smart, smart, intelligent Rhea. She went to Earth. She gave it to him there. Then she went back to Kronos. What Rhea did was that when she got there, obviously, Kronos asked Rhea, where is the child? And Rhea wrapped a stone. She wrapped a stone because she knew that he would not check. This is the child. And Mumu too, obviously. Because he never he, he's very daft. You people can see that he's very daft. He ate it. Of course. He ate it. Good for him. He not he, he, even when the stone was inside his stomach, he did not realize that that is not a baby, that's not a child that he just so all the other children that he has, they never died too. You just stayed in the stomach. Now I'm setting. I'm using actual face powder to set. So Zeus grew up, obviously, as every child should. He grew up, and oh, he knew that he wasn't from Earth, and he knew who he was. He went back home. He went to go and fight for his right, for his birthright. Like me, I want to take over. It's my time to shine. Rise and shine. It's a must have rise and shine. Um, Zeus challenged not only his father, his his uncles and aunts, as in all the many titans too. And do you can you guess what? He beats them. <laughs> he beats all of them. So that prophecy true true became true. That's how the Olympians were born. But them did not come out as babies, they came out as grown grown adults. The Olympian gods, there were six. Six of them. This is blended. I don't think it is. If I if my wig removes by mistake, I'm sorry. It's not all the time no. as it happens. Just want me. <laughs> so Hades is in part of the 12 gods of Olympia because god of the underworld. So he has his own entire world under. <laughs> Obviously. So he wasn't part of the main gods of Olympia. Apart from the many five children, Zeus, Hera, Hestia, Poseidon, the remaining they were, they were Zeus's children. Zeus was an ashy, so he had children with everybody. Does it look ashy? I feel like it looks ashy. If we're going to blend in a minute, I think that's too much. I'm going to do my eyes next. Let me tell you a secret about makeup. Just do it. Like really, just do, just keep going and keep practicing. See, sometimes eh, you think that you're doing nonsense, but they might end up looking alright. Let's do the liner for this one first. I don't know if it's going to show you. Right. So what you're going to try to do is line above your crease so that it will show and it will smudge your creases. This place, like, can you see the circle thing? <laughs> yeah, this is mental gymnastics because this is what I go through every time I want to draw is it even showing
this is higher than this one what do you think about the color combination so i'm going to try to make this look less curvy I'll show you guys how to clean up your mess. You just need a cutting board, spray water on it so it's wet now. Literally, that's, that's just it. Look. Zeus beat his dad and then all the other titans. Gaia, once again, because she's very protective of her, cha of, her <laughs> of her children, she was really upset. She created a monster, Typhon. Typhon is a huge monster the most dangerous and biggest monster ever she made him so that her children will come back as you realize all the other gods they were they were scared so they left zeus only zeus stayed all the others ran away only him fought typhoon can you guess what happened do you think he lost do you think he won what's the answer yes no <laughs> He lost. <laughs> How was he supposed to win? He lost and became powerless. And that's the end. I'm joking. So they locked him up in a prison. They took his boat away from him. So he couldn't even fight back or anything. He couldn't do shh, no, nothing. All the other girls I really got tired of not being at home. Now got together I said, okay, let's go and fight for our home back. We're tired. So Hermes, Hermes is one of Zeus's children and he's the messenger of the gods. He's a god of thieves, skills and all these technical things. So Hermes stole Zeus's tendril and returned it to him. So they used Typhon to guard where Zeus was. Somebody fed Typhon a poison apple. It's weakened him. So that's how Zeus shall sprung out with his lightning bolt. He said, let her sit down. And they fought, oh, like they fought against the Titan Typhoon. This time, they won. <coughs> I've done my lashes off camera. Lashes will disgrace you. Lashes can disgrace you, and they will disgrace you. They don't have shame. One, one lash will be lifting. It's tiring. They won. They took over Olympus. That's how they became the god of Olympia. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Give me a thumbs up. Stay tuned for my next video.